everybody, my name is Sam Ken. This episode, we're gonna actually, like, legit make a teacher our mind slave. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to the Endary Simulator Glitches. Now, in this episode, I've gotten myself more organized, and I have a full list put in notepad of some of the stuff that you guys sent me, some of the more popular ones, like if I received it a couple, like, uh, a lot more times. Um, but I do have a couple that only, uh, like, one or two people sent as well. Um, I have five that we're going to be going over today. So... Let's kick it off with the first one. Uh, step one. Kill any student, for example. Midori Gurino. Uh, t step two. Let Sensei see the dead student and make Sensei chase you and teleport wherever. Step three. Turn on Ebola mode. Uh, can the teacher pin you down in Ebola mode? Well, um, I can't remember exactly if the teacher, um, if you can teleport after getting a, um, after the teacher sees you and starts chasing you. However, what I do know is that, um, what I can do, like, uh, like, as I can turn into Ebola mode. Uh, let's see, press E, and then let's teleport to the roof. And kill Midori. Let's grab her hand right here. Ah, uh, yes. And I wonder if I ever cross your I love you too, Midori. Never leave me. Okay, and teleport to the classroom, which is seven, I believe. Um, teach. Do you not see that there's a body in my hand? What? How could you? Oh, of course. She sees it right at the last second. All right. Let me try that again. And kill her. Take her little hand. Teleport to the classroom. Wait for the teacher to stop being blind as fuck. Done? How could you? What have you done? Okay, apparently this teacher's blind. Go ahead and get that ready. Teleport to the roof. Kill Midori. Grab her little hand. Teleport using seven. And then do E. Stop, stop Come try to get right me. Now. Oh, she can! Holy shit! She can actually pin you if you're in Ebola mode. Man, she must be invincible to Ebola whenever she's mad. Okay, then. Well, I hope that answers your question. The answer is yes. She can still pin you down if you're in Ebola mode. On to the next challenge. Uh, step one, turn into a bola chan. Step two, put on the gloves. Step three, take off the gloves. And then you should have a new normal uniform. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, let's go to the light music club. Or, or no, I'm sorry, the drama club. Really quick, and I will check that out. Okay, here we are in the drama club. Um. Uh, I can't pick up the gloves. Maybe they're talking about an old build. I'll try that in that. Uh, I'll go jump to the May Six build and try that for you real quick. Okay, so the next one is step one: go into cyborg mode. Step two: get the teacher to follow you. Step three: tranquilize her. I mean, I'm sorry, the PE teacher. I said teacher. Um, step four, go to the basement and see what she looks like. All right, then. Well, let's go ahead and turn into the cyber mode. Um, but I have to go to class first because I have to get my biology rank up. So, let's go do that. There we go. Do that shit. 
And there we go. There we go. Hello, nurse. Don't mind me. I'm just going to take your drugs and such. Hello, Teach. How are you doing? Okay. Ask a favor. Follow me, please. Hey, follow me. I want to show you something cool. Okay. Lead the way. All right. Let's go. Come along, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? Yay! All right, let's go drag that body into here so that I can take her home. All right, let's get to the end of the day and let's go home. Yep, yep, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Dairy Chan wakes and yeah. Yandere Chen waits until the clock strikes midnight. Under the cover of darkness, Yandere Chen travels back to school and sneaks inside the main school building. Yandere Chen returns the instrument case that carries her unconscious victim. She pushes, pushes the case back to her house, pretending to be a young musician returning home from a late night show. Yandere Chen drags the case to her basement and ties up her victim. Exhausted, Yandere Chen goes to sleep. Okay, let's see what our uh, what our victim looks like. Saki, did you dye your hair white? She looks like Saki, doesn't she? Um, okay, let's uh, torture her and then take her to school. So let's. Yes, Justin Bieber music. If you guys haven't seen that episode, I there's an episode where I torture <laughs> one of the characters with Justin B Bieber music and Nicki Minaj music and Justin Bieber ex Nicki Minaj music. Um, so as a throwback to one of my old videos. All right, so now we have our mind slave all ready to go. Um, bring to school. Hello, coach. I want to see her eyes. What do her eyes look like? Do her eyes look the same still? I'm worthless. Yeah, her eyes look the same. She sounds like uh, uh, Saki, though. Okay, let's see if she'll kill Kakona. Let's speed this up a little bit. <clears throat> Go get her. Go get her, coach. Coach! Kill. Coach! Kill. Do it! She's right here! Here, I'll stop her for you. Eh, fuck you, Kakona. <laughs> fuck you and your big titties. Oh, there she goes, there she goes. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the evil girl. What are you gonna do? She gonna stab herself? Yeah, she's gonna stab. Look at that face on her. She's still smiling. She's still smiling. She's happy about it. Oh my god. <laughs> she's still smiling. No. Look, she's still smiling. She has the blade in her head and she's still smiling. This is a tragedy. Why would oh my god. That? <laughs> Look at that. She's still smiling. There's been a death at Akademi yeah. High School. We need help right away. Okay, let's see. I want to know what the uh, cops will say. Police arrive at school and discover what appears to be a scene of murder suicide. Police discover the courses Kakona Haruka and. Kayushi Taizo. Blood discover a knife stained with the blood of Kakona Haruka. Blood find the finger 
please find the fingerprints of Kaioshi Taizo on the weapon. Kaioshi Taizo is dead. Police cannot perform an arrest. Please question Yandere Chan but cannot link her to any crimes. Police conclude that a murder suicide took place but are unable to take any further action. Police investigation ends. Students are free to leave. Yes! And then Yandere Chan stalks her senpai. So that's how it, that it it works. Um, okay, firstly, if you guys remember, I tried to kidnap a teacher before, but it didn't work. Um, so I guess it works now. Uh, I'm guessing Yandere Dev means it for it to happen since he kind of fixed it in a way. Uh, so I don't know, maybe. All right. Okay. Step one, put on cyborg mode. Step two, talk to the gym teacher near the gate. Step three, make her follow you to where Kokona calls her. Or where Kokona makes her call, I think. Then just put her near, there near Kokona. Then teleport to the roof and pour water or blood on them. Be sure to gym teacher Put the gym teacher near or really near Kakona. Sorry, it's like kind of broken. I I literally took the the whoever the person that sent us in via email, so I copy and pasted their email onto the notepad. Uh, boom, you'll see why I said that. Okay. Really, nigga? Hello? I told you not to call me when God I damn to it! Motherfucker. Okay. Did someone really just throw water on me? Why would someone do this? I can't go to class like this. Okay, they're both going. They're both going. Thankfully, I'm fast. I'm like scenic. Okay. Uh oh, is the teacher gonna get nude? No, but Kakona's nude. Teach, what are you gonna do? You gonna stand there and be creepy and watch Kakona take a bath? <laughs> Look at her face. That's awesome. Kakona's gonna go take a bath. What are you doing, Teach? <laughs> okay, bye, Teach. She's gonna go back to her post soap. Alright, anyway, I don't know what was supposed to happen there, but that's what happened. Um on to the next challenge or myth or, or I think it's I think it's more of a challenge. Okay. Step one, kill student. Step two, make Kona wet. Do you want me to finger her or something? <laughs> Step three, put the student in the bath. Step, and, well, that's kind of all the steps. That's all he wrote. I, I'm i guessing he wants to know if Kakona will see the student. That's probably what it is. Um, so I will go ahead and go up to the roof and kill Midori Green. Though. There you go, Midori. I know that's your favorite thing. Oh, I can pick her up. I've been having trouble picking up the NPCs, but I can pick her up now. Um, press six, and I'm going to go through this door. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the body in there. Uh, instead of just like waiting. Okay, that should do it. That should be good. 
Alright. Let me go back. To, let me actually change my clothes real quick. I'm tracking blood everywhere. Now... Let me grab this and... There we go. It's now bloody. And let's wait for Kakona. Okay, let's pour it on her. Surprise. Surprise, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> what is this? Can you oh, she does know this it. Oh my god, is that a dead body? I'm getting out of here. No, you're not. You're just twirling around like a fucking retard, Kakona. Whoa! I hope that answers your question. Yes, she does notice it. If she goes to take a bath. Um, I imagine that's what you were trying to accomplish, I guess. Uh, if not, just just tell me dude down in the comments or shoot me an email um, tell me specifically how to do it oh wait what oh she's magically not covered in blood anymore and she's running back of course um, so anyway I want to thank everybody so much for watching as usual if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. If you have any tips, suggestions, challenges, myths, or glitches that you want me to try out, I have three different series based on Yandere Simulator. I have Yandere Simulator, I have uh, Yandere Simulator glitches, and I have Yandere Simulator challenges. Uh, in Yandere Simulator, the regular series, I do tutorials. I teach people how to do some stuff with my own goofy twists. Uh, I cover the new builds, all that kind of stuff. In Dandere Simulator Glitches, I cover a lot of glitches that are in the game. But, uh, possibly to, so that we can help uh, Yandere Dev in the future to get to make this game a little bit like so that he can go out and see all the glitches. Um, and I have Yandere Simulator Challenges, which is what you're watching right now, where I do I cover challenges and myths, preferably challenges. Uh, a lot of these were challenges, um, like it, it. But I will cover a lot of myths as well, uh, because since it, this is a development game, uh, there's obviously some myths that need to be. Um, uh, uh, that, that need to be busted. <laughs> Myth busting. Um, so anyway. I will see you all. In the next video. Bye bye.